welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Therese. I'm glad you joined our community. Check out the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage for easy access to videos about the body area that you want to work on for the amount of time you have for your yoga practice today or if you want to stay seated or stand or more. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button don't forget, it's free, and we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses to improve weight loss. You'll need a chair and light weights for today's class. So if you don't have where are my weights? light weights like this, you can also use a water bottle, a couple water bottles, or a couple of soup cans. Let's get started. Sit back in your chair. We're going to start by working on some breathing. Close your eyes. Quiet your mind. And deepen your breath. Slowing your rate. Moving air deeply into the lungs. We're going to try a breathing exercise, it's called box breathing. And this is what it looks like. You breathe in for four counts. You're going to hold for four counts. Exhale for four counts. And then hold at the end of that exhale for four counts. So let's do that all together now. Here we go. Deep breath in. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Hold again. Three, two, one. I want you to continue that. Again. One more. So we're going to add a little movement to this box breath. Sit up straight in your chair and bring your hands onto your shoulders. It's very simple. As you breathe in, I want you to lift the chin and pull your elbows back. Hold here. On your hold. Exhaling, bring the elbows forward. Hold. Let's do it all together now. Breathing in. Three, two, one. One, hold, three, two, one. Elbows forward, chin down, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Again, inhale, lifting, hold the breath. Exhale. Hold. Last one. Breathe in. Hold. Come forward. And hold. Inhale, arms open. Exhale down. Good. Continuing to warm up the spine. Let's scoop, scoot our hips forward a little bit more and bring your hands by your sides, finding that nice, tall, seated mountain pose, stacking ears above shoulders, shoulders above hips. That's it. Lift your arms overhead. Shoulders are down. Clasp your hands together and turn your palms up. So we're going to lean to the right 
pushing the palms to the upper corner of the room, keeping your chest facing the front of the room. Feeling that nice side stretch. Come to center, move to the other side, pushing the palms. Oh, that feels good. Move to center, release. Go ahead and circle your wrists, letting the arms lower to your sides. Now reverse your circle, lifting up again. This time when you clasp your hands, put your other thumb on top so it's that awkward clasp. Palms skyward again. Where are your shoulders? Bring them down. And now let's lean to the left first this time. And if you want a little more, try lifting your chin a little bit. Yeah. Getting a little neck work here. Look forward. Center. Switch sides. Pushing up. Lift your chin. Deep breath. Come to center. Nice. Release. Circle. Lower. Reverse your circle. Lift. Good. Let's open. And now moving into seated twist. Take your left hand, cross it over to your right thigh, and then bring the right hand onto the back of the chair. Chest is turning to the side of the room. Look over your back shoulder. Deep breath. Arms lift overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Move to the other side. Hand rooted down. Look behind you. Arms lift again. We're going to move back to that seated twist. And we're going to add a little bit of a head tilt to this. So root your right hand into the chair. And I want you to move your left ear towards your left shoulder, getting that wonderful side neck stretch. We carry a lot of tension in that side neck. Look back again. Inhale, arms lift overhead. Move to the other side. Looking behind you first, left hand roots into the chair, and then moving the right ear towards the right shoulder, finding that lovely side neck stretch. Look back again, arms lift, open. Let's grab a sip of water. Grab your weights now. So if you don't have weights, you can always use water bottles or soup cans. You're going to bring your hands by your sides, drawing your shoulders back, lengthening your spine, finding your seated mountain pose. So just feeling the weight, pulling your shoulders down and back. Slowing your breath. Let's move the arms with our breath. As you inhale, lift your arms overhead. As you exhale, lower the arms. Very slow, controlled movement. Inhaling with your lift, exhaling as you lower. Again, big breath in, slowly exhale. Let's do two more. Wow. 
last one. All right, hands by your sides. Have your palms facing the front of the room, elbows hugging into your rib cage. We're going to move into just a very basic bicep curl, but this is slow. So as you breathe in, you're going to lift the weight towards your shoulders. And as you breathe out, you're slowly extending. So we're not using any momentum with this. It's pure bicep work, full range of motion, getting the weights as close as you can to your shoulders. And then as you lower your arms, fully extending. Your elbows stay stationary. They're not moving anywhere. Extending down, nice. Keep going. Breathing in as you lift. Breathing out as you lower. Let's do two more. On your last one, hold up. And then just come down halfway, right here. Turn your, your palms to face each other. Again, you're keeping your elbows right next to your rib cage. And we're gonna work on a little bit of rotator cuff strengthening. So as you breathe in, you're going to open the weights, keeping your elbows stationary, and exhale, come to center. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Keep going. Ooh, I feel that. Pull back and center. Do three more. Stay with it. Last one. Pull back. Center. Bring it down. Good. Shake out. Good. Let's do a little combo now. We're going to lift our elbows to shoulder height, bringing your hands directly above your elbows. So you look like a goal post, right? This is our starting position. So we're going to move the elbows together, elbows and hands together, and then trying to keep those elbows together, lifting, lowering, open the elbows. Now move your hands to shoulder height. And then we're just going to do a nice rowing motion. Circle through. There we go. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, elbows together. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, level. Big rowing. Breathe in and out. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale. Close. Elbows lift, lower, open, lower the hands, and row. Nice. Keep going. Breathe in, close, inhale, lift, lower, open, lower the hands, big row. Last one. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift, lower, open, arms level, big row. Good, release. Whew. Shake it out. Shake out your wrists. Nice work. Okay, we're going to move into a lat pull down now. So starting in your strong and tall mountain pose. We're going to inhale and just lift the arms up to about a V shape right here. And then as you exhale, you're going to pull your elbows down and slightly behind. Extend to that V, lower the arms. Let's do that. Breathe in, pull the elbows into the rib cage. Inhale, extend, exhale, lower again. Breathing in, pull it down, extend, and open. 
as you continue, see if you can bring your elbows behind you a little more. Really feeling your shoulder blades squeezing. We're going to change this up a little bit right here. Let's do three of these. Three, two, good. One, extend and lower. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift. Three of them. Three, extend, exhale, inhale. Last one, pull down, extend, open. One more time, breathing in, exhale, pull down. Inhale, extend, again, pull down, extend. Last one, down, extend, lower, good. Roll your shoulders out, nice work, big circles. Shake it out a little bit. Excellent. Let's put our weights down and grab a drink of water. It's time to cool down. So scoot forward on your chair. Let's just start by moving the arms. Let's start with one arm at a time. Big sweep back inhaling and exhaling and then the left arm circle back keep going breathing in and out inhale exhale oh nice shoulder roll feels good we're doing the backstroke here slow motion backstroke Let's do one more each side. And now let's reverse. Reaching back. Inhale. Exhale. Circle forward. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Slowing the breath. One more each way. Good. Separate your feet a little bit. Bring your hands on the inside. Make a steeple with your index fingers. Let's just sweep forward and lift. Reach back. Come forward again, all the way forward. And then curl up to heart center. Do that again. Circle down, lift, open your heart. Big sweep forward again. Heart center. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, good. Good. Walk your feet in. Let's take our right leg, cross it over the left ankle bone. So if you have any issues, keep this right foot flexed. If you can't quite get your foot on your thigh, you're going to keep your ankle bone on your shin. Finding the spot that works for you. Move your knee up and down a little bit just to feel that little hip release. Press your knee down. Hand on ankle bone, breathe in, lengthen the torso. And then as you exhale, you're moving the chest forward, coming into a very intense outer thigh stretch. It's, it's to help with sciatic issues. Outer thigh into your glute, hopefully getting a little bit into that piriformis. Now, as we move into intense stretches, the goal is to find that spot where you feel the deep stretch and you stay there and you breathe. And as you remain, you might feel a very subtle release and be able to deepen a little. We're going to 
gonna change it up just a little bit. Keeping the torso forward like this, all I want you to do is shift your torso over your knee. So you're moving so that your chest is over that thigh. Ooh, just changing the focus of the stretch just a little bit. Move back to center. Now move your chest towards your foot. Keeping the back flat. Deep breath. back to center. See if you can sink a little deeper right here. Ah, I feel that release. Yeah, one more deep breath. Rise up. We're going to cross that right leg over the left so your thighs are together. Left hand crosses over the, to the right thigh. Bring the right hand behind you. Open the chest to the side of the room and look behind you, coming into a little bit deeper spinal twist. Let's go ahead and circle that ankle while we're here. Reverse. Good. Release, nice and slow. And now let's do the other side. Left ankle bone, either on your shin or your thigh. Movement in the knee. Hand on knee, hand on ankle. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Oh, come forward, oh, that feels good. You're finding that spot where you feel, I mean, you're going to feel stretch, right? But it should not be so painful that you have to hold your breath. Or sharp pain, never sharp pain. If you feel sharp pain, you need to back off. You find that spot and you stay there. Breathe. Eventually, you'll feel the release. Ideally, you want to stay in these, these deep stretch positions for about a minute. Let's go ahead and shift our chest toward your knee. Shoulders are relaxed. Face is soft. No grimacing. Come back to center. Move your torso towards your foot. Mm. Slowly back to center. Can you sink deeper? Oh my goodness. Inhale, rise up. Let's cross all the way over. Right hand crosses over thigh, left hand behind. Nice open chest to the side of the room. Look behind you and circle the ankle. Reverse. Move back to center. Let's go ahead and circle the head again. Full circle, if it's available for you. If not, just do that semi-circle from side to side. Good. 
reverse, Move to center. Hands at heart center. You're going to open, like, open your palms like you're look, reading a book. And then the backs of the hands move together, circling the fingers forward, around, and come back to heart center. Now reverse that. Open the book away from you. Backs of the hands together, circling through here. Do it again. Open the book towards you. Circle center, open away, good, add your breath, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, circle as you exhale, let's do one more each way, Sit back in your chair. Close your eyes. Coming into our final relaxation or meditation. Always starts with focusing on deep breathing. So moving back to that slow, deep breath. Quieting the mind, no outside thoughts. Keep your focus on your breath. Give beauty. Give life beauty. Make something beautiful. Do something beautiful experience and share something beautiful. Life and beauty intertwine to the benefit of both. Beauty carries life and purpose and inspiration forward and life makes beauty possible. In the service of beauty you learn valuable skills. In the experience of beauty you discover important truths about who you are. In your actions your words, your attitude, be beautiful. Live in a way that adds unique beauty to the experience of the people you encounter. Your efforts and commitments are about more than just getting by. You have the opportunity and the ability to contribute beauty to the world. Notice the beauty, appreciate the beauty, feel the beauty and expand on the beauty that is such a significant part of life. Allow your breath to normalize now. That means that you're just breathing without effort, letting the air move in and out of its own accord. Lift your back away from the back of the chair. Move your hands to heart center. Let's bring our thumbs to our forehead to remind us to keep our thoughts positive and encouraging. Move your hands to your thumbs to your lips, reminding us to keep our words positive and encouraging. Move your thumbs to your heart, reminding us to keep an open heart in all situations. Thank you. Namaste.